tell us a little bit about the tests and the scans that you're referring to. Well, in the wellness industry, it's a huge industry, $6 trillion globally, and there's a flaw in it, and it's due to have a disruption. People want to have accurate insights into their wellness. Up to this point, people go online, they buy product that you know, they're scrolling through, and they see a you know, doctor in a white coat talking about <laughs> some product. We all do it. We all go to the corner store, the nutritional store, and we'll blindly purchase products thinking what we're buying is actually going to do something in our system. In science, if we have, let's say, a blood pressure problem, we go to the doctor and the first thing they do is measure. So the science is the basis of measurement. So you take your blood pressure and then we say, okay, yes, you are high, so we need to do something about that. When it comes to nutrition, we don't have a way to measure and prove that what we're eating and what we're purchasing is actually effective. Now, NuSkin has had a way to measure over 23 years, 26 million scans to actually ask somebody, if you're taking a product that you're blindly buying, how do you know for sure that what you're putting in your mouth is actually being absorbed by your body and it's measuring and it shows up in your tissue. 70% of Americans take some form of supplementation, but when asked if they know that what they're putting in their mouth is actually showing up in their tissue, 0% actually know. So there was a huge gap in the supplement industry. Newskin saw that there was a necessity for measurement to help people sort of have that feedback. So they launched, and I actually have one in my office that I do measure. I have a, a biophotonic uh, scanner, which is measuring using biophotonic laser. It's a Nobel prize winning science. It's Raman spectroscopy. Non-invasively in 30 seconds, we know exactly where someone is from an oxidative stress perspective. One thing I do want to point out is from those 26 million scans, average child that was measured measures in the range of a chronically ill smoker's level and a chronically ill patient, which is absolutely alarming. Oh, wow. And yeah, in children, if we want to have a thriving society, you know, we can't have a sick society.